All right, this video is going to demonstrate eight angle pose. Um, eight angles and arm balance um, takes a good bit of hip opening, uh, some hamstring opening, and it's an odd position. It's asymmetrical, so it's a little odd to get into. So it's easy to kind of fall down. So there's a good bit of strength you gotta work and a good bit of mobility you have to work through your joints. And I'm just gonna go through kind of a basic entry to this pose. And this isn't the only one, keep in mind, but just feel things out as best you can. So coming into this from this seat, I'm going to bring my right leg as my top leg as I come into this pose. I'm just gonna keep my left leg down and bring my right leg up. So the right foot comes up, I'm gonna bring my right arm inside that leg. And with both hands, I work the leg up the arm. And you're trying to get the knee behind the shoulder or as close as you can get. Just work as best you can when you start out. So getting that leg up high, you want to press that arm into the leg. So you're bracing against the leg. And this should feel like a good stretch all by itself. If your hips aren't all that open, you may come here and decide, well, this is about enough. And that's okay. You can just stop here over time. This will start to open up. But keep the leg pressing the arm, the arm pressing back to the leg and hold some tension here. Now, to take it toward the arm balance, I'm going to extend my left leg forward and then lean forward from here. So you want to lean into this and pull your belly in and keep the leg pressing the arm, the arm pressing back to the leg. My other hand's coming about halfway down the thigh. And then from here, you want to press down into the floor, lift your butt up off the mat, but stay folded forward. And that's how you're going to actually find the balance. So you're going to keep a bend in the elbows and keep Keep your shoulders forward. Now to come into this, I'm going to bring my right foot under my left leg. And this is elephant trunk right here. And this is sort of a preliminary balance. It's much easier than an eight angle. And you can always just hold this if you're just starting out. Now if you can take this further to eight angle, it's a few more steps. You have to slide the ankles together and then use the inner thighs. Squeeze them around the upper arm so you're pulling everything in. And then the tricky part is the legs go to the side, shoulders go forward, elbows go back, and you want to lower this down, everything pulling into place so my body's basically parallel to the floor. And you need to do it without falling down. If you let go, then it's just and everything comes down to the mat. Um, so just work things as best you can and feel things out. Um, and again, you can stop this at any point. It takes a good bit to lift into this. And it definitely works the inner thighs and starts to help open up the hips. Just working on the poses that get you toward the pose. Hope this helps.